Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a mode 6 counter with 4026. So let's get started. For mode 6 counter we need a IC 4026 and we need a common cathode 7 segments display and its common pin is connected to ground and all the 7 segments are A, B, C, D, E, F, G and its inputs are connected to output of the IC so to connect this we need 330 ohms resistor so we need 7 of them segment A is connected to pin number 10 segment B is connected to pin number 12 segment C is connected to pin number 13 D is connected to pin number 9 E is connected to pin number 11, F is connected to pin number 6 and G is connected to pin number 7. It is the IC4026 okay and its pin number 3 and 16 both are connected together and then these are connected to plus VCC. Pin number 2 and 8 these two are connected and then these are connected to ground. Now we need to provide clock input pin number one is clock input pin and we'll provide clock pulse with a push button switch and other side of the switch is connected to plus VCC and pin number one is connected to ground through one kilo ohm resistor and we'll connect one more resistor and with an LED the resistor value is 220 ohms so whenever we press the switch this LED will glow and in the previous video I have already explained how to provide clock pulse to the IC with a triple 5 timer IC so if you want to provide clock pulse from a triple 5 then you can use that circuit ok now come to this we need another IC 7408 its pin number 7 is connected to ground and pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 15 of the 4026 and these are connected to ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor its pin number 7 is connected to pin number 1 of the IC its pin number 6 is connected to pin number 2 of the IC and its pin number 11 is connected to pin number 5 of the IC and pin number 3 and 4 both are connected together so this is all about our circuit for mode 6 counter now let's see this on the breadboard. Put the IC4026. This is our common cathode 7 segment display. Now put all the 7 resistors. This is for segment A. This one for B, C, D, E, F and G. Ok. Common pin of the display is connected to the ground. Pin number 2 of the IC is connected to ground. Also the pin 8 pin 16 is connected to plus VCC also the pin 3 resistor A is connected to pin A of the display resistor B is connected to pin B of the display C is connected to the C D is connected to D E is connected to the E resistor F is connected to the pin F G is connected to the G pin 10 is connected to the resistor A 12 is connected to the B 13 is connected to the C 9 is connected to the D pin 11 is connected to the E pin 6 is connected to the F and the last pin 7 is connected to the G so our display is connected now put the switch pin 1 is connected to the ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor pin number 1 is connected to the 1 pin of the switch Another pin of the switch is connected to the plus VCC. Put the IC 7408. Pin number 14 is connected to the plus VCC. Pin number 7 is connected to the ground. Here is our pin 6 and it is connected to the pin number 15 of the 4026 IC. Pin number 15 is connected to the ground through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Its pin 3 and 4 both are connected together. Its pin number 1 is connected to pin number 7 of the 4026 IC and its pin number 2 is connected to 
4026 IC and this pin number 5 is connected to pin number 11 of the 4026 IC. Now put an LED. The anode pin of the LED is connected with a resistor and other side of the resistor is connected to pin number 1. So this is all about our connection. Now put the power supply. Here is our negative and here is our positive. Now as it is mode 6, so it will count from 0 to 5. Okay. So whenever the pulse is high, the counter is incremented by 1. Okay. Now you can provide pulse from the triple 5 IC and I have already explained this circuit in previous video link in the description below now we are going to provide pulse from the triple 5 now we do not need this push button so remove all the connections connected to pin number 1 now connect pin number 3 of the triple 5 and this pin is connected to the pin number 1 of 4026 now connect the plus VCC and the ground now put the power supply here is our ground and the plus VCC so guys this is how we can make a mode 6 counter with 4026 so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching.